While it's incredibly difficult to win any major title on the international football stage, two trophyless teams over the last decade have put together some unbelievable performances in Belgium and Croatia. But still, we wonder to this day, why did neither of these sides have a major title and whose run over the last decade has been the most disappointing? Guys, Matty G back here with you on Football with Flags. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's take you through the last decade and see how we've gotten to this point. We'll start with the world rankings. Now, of course, we all know FIFA's world ranking system is not the greatest and certainly not up to par with what we should expect out of it, considering how many times they release it throughout the year. But for Belgium, they are currently ranked third in the world. They have been ranked number one six out of the last eight years at some point. And during that stretch, we're number one for a good portion of the time between 2018 and 2022, despite the fact that France were the defending world champions. Belgium spent a good majority of that time over the French. Meanwhile, during that period over the last eight years, the lowest that they have ever gone is 10th in the world. For Croatia, they currently sent 10th in the world themselves. The highest that they've ever been since 2019 is fifth and the lowest during that time is 18th. Now, while this certainly has nothing to do with on-field performance, rosters, specific players, anything like that, interestingly enough, multiple sources that we found over the last decade always had Belgium as much heavier favorites to win major competitions than Croatia. And in two different instances, Croatia were not even mentioned in the articles as well with the 2016 and 2020 euros to have odds. Now, of course, we could continue to research further and find different odds for them, but definitely they would not have been as low as Belgium. And Belgium constantly were always mentioned usually in the top 10 in terms of potential favorites to win these competitions. But sometimes Croatia were even dismissed in the dark horse conversation for these tournaments. In terms of the resumes for both of these sides, Belgium have been to 14 World Cup finals for Croatia, just six. Now remember they were a part of Yugoslavia before 1990. However, Croatia do have one more showing in the Euros all time than Belgium. And both sides have reached the UEFA Nations League finals once, Belgium losing out in the semi-final of several years back. Meanwhile, for Croatia, they made the final last fall but lost out to Spain. And something else I thought that was important to note, Belgium do have a gold medal. They did win it back in 1920, but still something interesting to mention considering that, you know, the game for the men's international side certainly meant more back then than it does now, but still they do have a gold medal to their name. Now again, this video is focusing from the time between 2014 to current day, but just to give you an idea of how these teams have fared before this time, Belgium making it to a World Cup semifinal in 1986. They made the finals of the Euro in 1980 and a third place run in 1972 for Croatia. It was a third place run. They lost out in the semifinal to France in 1998, I believe to a golden goal in extra time as well. And they've made two quarterfinal appearances in the Euros. Here we go, finally on this journey of deciding which side has been most disappointing over the last decade for not winning a major title. And we start in 2014 during the World Cup. Belgium have an impressive group stage run. They get to the round of 16, play the United States, really dominate that game. Remember, that was the game that Tim Howard, the U.S. goalkeeper, breaks the record for most saves during a World Cup match. But they unfortunately lose out in the quarterfinals to eventual finalist Argentina. That was a great game with a great atmosphere. And for Croatia, things obviously start starting off a bit rougher. They come in, opening match against Brazil, start off pretty good. Alic swings that ball in, and I believe Marcelo scores the own goal, silences the Brazilian crowd, but they obviously get back into it with goals from Neymar and Oscar later on in that game. And that was also during a time when Mexico were playing really well, and Ochoa was unbelievable in the back of the net. Mexico defeat Croatia also. They do get a win versus Cameroon, but still exit the tournament early. Now onto the 2016 Euros, and for both sides, a pretty good group stage. Not Obviously not everything that they wanted, but they still both make it out to the knockout stages. And for Belgium, it was a very impressive 4-0 win over Hungary. They really dominated most of that game as they move on to the quarterfinals. But for Croatia, they were really one of the first to kind of get bit with this new expanded format. Obviously, Portugal get out of the group third with three points. They drew every single one of their games, and Portugal finally get their first win in a knockout stage game, defeating Croatia 1-0 and sending them home early. And for Belgium, while it was great that they got to the quarterfinal, they run into a very difficult team in Wales who were just in incredible form during that time. Pretty similar to the kind 
kind of run that we've seen Denmark make in the last Euros as well. They get shut down and upset in the quarterfinals and are also sent home prematurely. Now this obviously was probably the best chance that both of these sides had and certainly many people thought I think that one of them was going to wind up getting it done. Both teams very impressive during the 2018 World Cup group stage winning all three of their games for both sides. Belgium thumping Panama. They defeated England. We saw the impressive win over Argentina that Croatia had and as both of these teams get to the knockout stage <clears throat> certainly thinking that they're still very much heavy favorites. Well for Belgium it wasn't quite that case. Remember they were down 2-0 to Japan before before finally coming back and scoring three goals in the second half to win that game three to two and advance to the quarterfinals. And for Croatia, the next two rounds were very difficult. They faced elimination square in the face, had to go to penalties twice just to get to a semifinal but they stood up to the task and were able to get the job done. And for Belgium, another very impressive win, defeating Brazil, who again, many thought were another very heavy favorite for the competition as well. They both get to the semifinals and things are looking pretty good. But of course, Belgium run into Samuel Umtiti with a header off of a corner, I believe, and sends Belgium home early. They do go to the third place game and we all know that France go on to win the World Cup. And for Croatia, Remember, I believe England scored against them first in that semifinal as well. They come charging back from behind, score two goals, wind up winning that game and heading to their first ever World Cup final where they once again face the team that defeated them in their previous best finish ever in a World Cup in France and unfortunately can't get it done as they lose 4-2. to two. But for Belgium, another impressive win. They defeat England for the second time and do finish in third. As for the 2020 Euros, again, a very impressive group stage for Belgium. They win three out of three games, really controlling things for themselves and head to the knockout stage for Croatia. It wasn't quite the same routine. Obviously, a bit more difficult group for them with England, Czech Republic, and Scotland. They really should have done better, but still get out with four points. And then again, face a very vibrant, young, talented Spanish side coming up. And while they go down 3-1 in that game, they do come roaring back, scoring two goals, one very late to take that game into extra time, but then concede two more. Very uh, unfamiliar and disappointing performance from Croatia, conceding five like that in a knockout stage game. But again, kind of that, not really curse, but just disappointing finish in another knockout stage for the Euros as Croatia get ended early but for Belgium they take down the defending champs in Portugal in the round of 16 and feel pretty good about themselves but then run into the eventual champions Italy in the quarterfinals and wind up losing that game. And on to the last major tournament that we've seen these two sides in the 2022 World Cup both of these sides in the same group and certainly considered the two favorites <clears throat> to come out of the group as well. And that is obviously not what happened for Belgium. They get a narrow win over Canada to start things off, but then get surprised by Morocco, who we all saw have a fantastic run in the World Cup, getting to the semifinals. They lose 2-0 in that game. And then for Croatia, <clears throat> they pretty much help send Belgium home as Croatia advanced out of the group with five points. Belgium just four and for Croatia obviously now into the knockout stages expecting another potential deep run but it is not going to be easy they wind up having to go through penalties twice again and facing two very tough teams with Japan and Brazil who again they also had to come from behind with and score a late goal in extra time just to get the penalties well, I believe with just three minutes left in those 30 and wind up getting through both of those stare elimination in the face twice more and get through both just incredibly impressive getting to another semifinal, but of course met their date with destiny, obviously meeting Messi and Argentina and just never really could get their footing as they get thumped 3-0 in that semifinal and can't get back to another World Cup to maybe get some revenge on France. But they do, however, finish third with an impressive win over Morocco in that third place match. We obviously couldn't make this type of video too without at least giving a shout out to some of the all-time best players that these two teams have seen over the last decade. And this graphic doesn't even show everyone that you could seriously put on there as well. Keep in mind too, while Belgium have obviously been around longer than Croatia, Croatia, a number of different guys on this list are a part of their top 10 in terms of all-time caps, as well as goals with Mandzukic, Modric, Perisic, Cherna, Olic, Rakitic, all very influential figures over the last decade for their teams and even beforehand in some degree as well. And for Belgium, Lukaku, their all-time scorer. You've got uh, Eden Hazard, Kevin De Bruyne, Batshuayi, who's not even on this graphic. I believe he's in their top 10 all-time for goals as well. 
along with a number of different players for most caps all time too. And certainly a ton of praise for both of these sides. Obviously it's very difficult and you can only have one champion during uh, these major competitions, but considering the overall talent and wealth that these two teams were able to display on the field with just some incredible players for both club and country, definitely something worth noting in this video. So back to the main question of this entire video, who has been most disappointing to not win a major title in the last decade? For me, I think it has to be Belgium and a couple reasons why is one, again, out of their control, but still they were ranked to one of the highest teams in the FIFA world rankings for so long. They went through some dominating spells with friendlies, uh, qualifying stages, as well as certain parts of major competitions and just weren't able to get over the hump to get the job done. But also the fact that they were such heavier favorites than Croatia and a lot of different tournaments as well, I think speaks volumes that they were really considered a favorite not a dark horse but a big favorite in most of these competitions and could not get over the line as well as the fact that again no disrespect to Croatia because both teams have had phenomenal team uh, teams and rosters over the years but I think Belgium at times were a bit more complete from top to bottom when you looked at their rosters whether it was through their size their speed stamina the pace their pace of play the ways that they could score goals but again the size that they had up front in the midfield in the back when you look at Courtois different players across uh, their entire team sheet I just think that they really should have been able to get it done in certain areas more so than Croatia and unfortunately weren't able to who knows we might see both of these teams do incredibly well in the Euros this summer maybe we might even see them both in the final against one another with an opportunity to finally see one of these teams lift a major trophy we'll have to wait and see but one more note before I let you go keep in mind that these two teams over the last decade have had to play a team who made the final of a major tournament or won the major tournament six different times in the last decade that is incredible to think about well guys i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so we've got more predictions on major tournaments coming up along with different videos like this please let me know if you like this type of stuff if you want to see more of it down the road and let us know down in the comments as well your own opinion who you think has been most disappointing over the last decade and your reasons why or why you think one of these teams is going to win potentially the euros here in 2024 certainly would love to hear from as much of you as possible but again guys i hope you all have a great day and we'll see you soon peace